Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel RPA Space and this is Dinagran. Today in this video, we are going to see similar to the activity series which we have seen from the last couple of videos and one among that is filter data table. So before getting into today's video, let's see uh, our quick intro about our YouTube channel. If someone is new and if, if they're like interested to learn something related to RPA, so just have a look at our YouTube channel which does contain a lot of videos related to Blue Prism and uh, UI part. So it does contain close to 100 videos uh, on this channel. So have a look. And in case if you have any suggestions or questions, do comment it below. I'll address it as soon as possible. Right. So without getting delayed, let's jump back to our today's uh, video, what the content is all about. Right. So now this is more related to filter data table. What is the exact purpose of filter data table? As the name suggests, the filter data table does contain a lot of conditions through which we can able to limit or you can filter the data table and customize it as per your project needs, right? So the filter data table can be configured where the output can be stored in the existing data table itself, or you can create a new data table and where you can store the uh, filtered condition value in that data table as well. So it, it does contain both options. I'll show you how it is. So how to find the filter data table activity, you can just use a search panel and you can directly type it filter uh, data table and then drag and drop into your workspace in case if you if you want to look for another option then you can go to activities and under programming data table and there is an option for filter data table so just use that option to uh, get a filter data table activities right so without getting delay let's jump back to our ui path studio and see what the filter data table all is all about right as i explained in the as i explained in the previous uh, uh, like theoretical part so we're going to see filter data table so you can go to either activities panel and type search in filter data table and drag and drop into your workspace or go to programming data table and filter data table option so now for filter data table you need a data table as an input and the output also will be of a data table so to have a better understanding i'll take a quick example with an excel that does contain quite few data so if you want, I can attach this uh, sample data also into our, uh, I'll give a link for that. You can download it and you can use it in your project as well. So I'm just reading the Excel for particular sheet and storing that value into, uh, into a data table so that I can apply some filter conditions for that, right? right? So let me see if I have any existing data table which is already created for the sequence. If not, I can create it something new. Okay, so going to the read range and uh, here I just had to so K and then Excel data. It's like user convenient. You can give whatever is uh, convenient for you as a name for storing the value from Excel. And then you need, like, this is what the filter data level ultimate aim, what we're going to achieve it. So filter data level can accept like input, which is, uh, of a type a DT. So you can see here the scope of the existing data table which we have created DT Excel, which is under do. I had to increase the scope only then I can be able to use this under filter data table, which is outside the do sequence. Right. So input you have you can just type it Excel dot. So to have a difference, to show you a difference, I just want to store this uh like filtered output into sorry into a different uh, data table. But you can, if you want, if you, have a, if you have a project condition in which you want to store it in the same data table also, you can still use it. So that doesn't um, create any issues actually. So keep and remove, I'll come back to this, uh, keep and remove options and I'll show you each and every uh, options how that can be configured, right? So let for now, let's just look, give, okay, don't give any conditions. So before that, we had to just go to our Excel sheet and see what was the uh, input data table we are going to perform. So this is the input data table Excel, which we are going to have, and it does contain ID, date, location, and price. So the, the condition which we are going to apply is under place. So we have four columns and with a couple of rows, right? So let's apply some conditions with this, uh, with this data table. Right now, I just want to have like, for example, I, I'm just applying condition on place column, which is nothing but, one of the column in the Excel, which we have, that's going to come and come and set it as a data table. So in that, I just want to apply a condition equal. And uh, in that, I just want to mention, so wherever the place column contains value as NY, 
that had to get stored into a result dot data table so i am not giving any conditions in output columns any conditions in uh, in, uh, in row filtering mode also for now just just i want to keep it very simple and then i'll show you in one more example how that can be uh, manipulated as well right so here let's run it and see how the result is going to come it up so just running it extract take the data and uh, you could see right so the value which comes which is from excel all came and stored it here as data table and the data table name is excel input data that's what we have configured so that is where input uh, extraction all the extractions is done now we are running to filter data table or activity so after filter data table your result data will contain something let's see what it is going to have so you can expand it it could you can be able to see only the column of place should contain ny so the value which has ny only will be there in your result dot data result data because that's how your filter condition has been placed right so that is where you can you can use or you can make utilize a lot of options which is coming which is available here so you can apply whichever is required based on your project needs so what is all about a keep right so let's let's run the same thing with uh, having a keep uh, in your filter mode and see what is your what what is the difference your outlook output is uh, going to be right Just running it. So each and every options which is available here for you in properties, that's going to be really useful when you implement in your real time project. See, when you keep it, it is nothing but keep the place column wherever it does contain NY. So which means it is very simple when the place column contains NY as a value, that's going to come it as uh, uh, like. Uh, uh, which is going to come in the output right so for example in your filter block if you go and give it as a remove right so it's going to uh, neglect or it's going to avoid the value which is having anyway in place and then it's going to give you rest of the other columns uh, into your uh, result output right so let's let's quickly run it after running this you can go here and see you can see the place value contains wi il and wa which means other than ny which is uh, listing here as an output so that is where you have different options in your filter data table is going to be helpful so what what is going to be here in your output column output column is also same similar if you give the column name and uh, mention it as keep it's going to be remain so if you just mention remove so it's going to remove all the values which is uh, equal to uh, ny so that is where your different options related to filter data table is uh, used and in case if you want to add multiple column to remove or to add it you can like you can mention it here by clicking the small plus symbol and if you want to delete it just just keep deleting it so that's how your filter filter wizard which has which just contain a lot of options that can be customizable and used in your real time projects just have a have a look on this and if you if you face any challenges just do comment below and if you have any real time project scenarios where your filter data table is not working or you need some other insight about it just mention it in below below the video so that like i'll try to explore and share with your real time solutions as well so until next video with some other activities and uh, keep you posted uh, probably in a day or two and then by the time so like have a look on the video and keep sharing with your friends who are is willing to learn uh, rpa with basics so that that would be really helpful and uh, thanks for watching have a nice day